Okay, today we're going to do a really quick video on the um, Tram Automatic uh, SWR Watt Meter. Um, got this guy at Dayton. Uh, it's actually a two piece watt meter. Got an original um, operator's manual there. Uh, measures 2200, 2000 watt scale. Has off, has uh, lighted meters. Red LED in the middle will light for high SWR if your SWR ever hits uh, over 3 to 1 and self calibrating and what they mean by that is that you don't need to calibrate anything for SWR it automatically sets itself for the SWR meter so you just key it down and it reads uh, watts 2200 2000 or uh, in SWR automatically um, back here you got the uh, control head well that's not a control head that's the sensor which is probably harder to find in the watt meter your uh, coax in and out goes to it and it also has uh, two RCA or photo jacks one for forward one for reflected and also in the back of the meter the control head or meter has uh, the uh, forward and reflected phono jacks in uh, uses a wall wart, wall wart, AC or actually DC power supply, nine volts at 200 milliamps in it, or it uses, uh, I believe, six C batteries on the inside of it. But this one is strictly running off the wall wart, um, no batteries in it. it. Also has a battery check in the back of it, where you hit the. Uh, battery switch and it goes over there to battery check even though it's running off the wall wart and also in the back it has a light switch which I found interesting I had to uh, get the manual out because when you plug in the wall wart the lights automatically uh, come on when you turn the meter on so I'm like why do they have a light switch and that's for if you use it on battery power it will normally not run the lights unless you uh, push in the uh, momentary or a hold. You got to hold it in if you want to keep the lights on light switch. It doesn't stay on by itself with the battery. Anyway, I got the uh, radio already dialed in. Uh, 5 watts on the 20 watt scale of the MFJ Giant Watt Meter. And over here, the top scale of the uh, tram meter at 5 watts, maybe a little bit more than 5 watts. And over here, the SWR is about 1.3, which is right because it goes through so much stuff before it actually hits the dummy load. And with the little audio in it. Audio, 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 audio. Hello, 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 hello. Swinging about 12, maybe. Hello, 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 hello. Audio. And over here on the uh, MFJ on average, hello, 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 hello. It's showing about 10 on average. And let's go on peak on the MFJ. Hello, hello, hello. Audio, audio, closer to 18 peak. So this is kind of reading a little bit more than uh, average, but not quite peak. And the uh, dead key is showing pretty much the same. By the way, my MFJ is calibrated to my uh, bird meter. And there's one up there. That's what the uh, MFJ is calibrated to. So in effect, uh, I guess this could be considered calibrated to a bird meter too, at least on dead key. Okay, that's going to be it for the Tram Automatic Self-Calibrating SWR 
and 2200 2000 watt power meter.